This week, a one-year only design and a very special AMC muscle car. We feature a lot of very unique muscle cars here on Muscle Car of the Week, but this one is, uh, is even more special because it is a one-year only design and it's a special edition of the one-year only design. It's a 1970 AMC Javelin Trans Am edition wearing a very distinct red, white, and blue paint scheme. The backstory on where these cars came from points straight to Trans Am racing. Uh, in the late 60s and early 70s, Trans Am road racing was insanely popular, as was drag racing. So the rule stated for Trans Am racing that if a manufacturer was going to race, they also had to have a street version of their race car. And in this case, uh, AMC had to produce at least 100 versions of the Javelin Trans Am edition for the street. And it's pretty neat the way they did it. They used the same paint schemes from the actual race cars on the street versions. So as you see, this one has that red, white, and blue paint scheme. There was actually two versions of it. Peter Revson was one of the drivers, and his car was painted red, white, and blue, uh, with the red being in the front. And then Mark Donahue was the other team driver, and the Mark Donahue version uh, was painted blue, white, and red, with blue in the front. And when these cars were racing on the track, that's how they kept them separated. Uh, you could either tell it was Peter Revson with the red, white, and blue, or Donahue in the blue, white, and red. Uh, for 1970, AMC called upon the Penske team and Mark Donahue, and they ended up finishing the season in second place behind Ford. But as we look at the evolution of the Javelin as a Trans Am race car, the things that Ronnie Kaplan did early on uh, were definitely used by the Donahue Penske team later on. This car has the AMC Go Package engine option, which is a 390 cubic inch V8, made about 325 horsepower, which translates to a lot of power and a lightweight car, lots of fun. This car is using the 390 cubic inch AMC V8, which was not available in the Trans Am race car because of the 305 cubic inch cubic inch displacement limit. So you could only have a 305 or smaller for the race cars. So they actually ran about a 304 cube uh, V8 on the track. But for the street, uh, the hottest engine you could get for 1970 in this AMC was the 390. And the 390 is a pretty neat motor. Uh, for 1970, uh, it was wearing a single four barrel carburetor. They had a set of higher flowing cylinder heads that they actually called the dog leg design for 1970. These had larger valves and a, a reshaped uh, intake and exhaust port design designed to make higher flow. The crank and the rods were forged in this, coming up with a 325 horsepower package that uh, was a very strong engine. These things took a lot of abuse. And these cars didn't weigh a whole lot, so their performance on the street was, uh, was pretty strong. This car also features the Go package, uh, which includes the Ram Air hood, uh, free-flowing dual exhaust, uh, a handling package, which had a different spring rate and sway bar, power front disc brakes, and a close ratio Hurst four-speed manual transmission. Out and back, there was a limited slip rear differential with a 391 gear. Um, and then this thing also had heavy duty engine cooling with a special fan shroud and an F70 by 14 inch raised white letter tires. So all the way around, this car was designed to be not only powerful, but to also have exceptional handling characteristics. The Trans Am Javelin uh, was also part of the SST package, which stood for Super Sport Touring. And when you look at this car, uh, the first thing that catches your eye, obviously, is that tritone paint scheme. But what you'll notice is a one-year-only design in the uh, headlight and grille area. They called this the Twin Venturi design. And the rear taillight and window assembly, it's all very sleek and aerodynamic. And this car changed radically for 1971. Uh, so being a one-year-only car, and being only one of a hundred made, and being a car that's got a legitimate Trans Am heritage, makes these 1970 Javelin Trans Am specials really, really unique cars.
This car is featured on our website at musclecaroftheweek.com and go to our Facebook page. We'll have a teaser of next week's car. And if you want to subscribe, you can do that on our YouTube channel and you'll never miss an episode.